coming back, thanking the Lord for another blessed and beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Giving a great shout out to the YouTube family. God bless everybody. Coming back redoing this video. I've been having a little problems uploading. But the name of this video is A Great Leader. A Great Leader. And I'm going back to the Old Testament talking about Joshua. When Joshua took over after Moses' death. And we all know the story on Moses leading the Israelites and all the struggles they went through, even at times when Moses was disobedient and how the children of Israel kept complaining about this, complaining about that when God had already took care of them and supplied their every need. So there came a time when Moses died. And I'm coming out of Joshua uh, chapter 1, but instead of just reading the, the uh, scriptures, I'm just going to kind of talk through it again because the video got deleted and I could never do it like I did it the first time. So Moses died and Joshua was put in position. God chose Joshua and told Joshua that my servant Moses is dead now. Now I need you to lead these people and I'm going to be with you. It's going to be critical. It's going to be tough. But God chose Joshua and I love Joshua because Joshua is a strong leader. Joshua listened at God. And we look at Joshua and we can learn off of this story that we need to be like Joshua. Why? Because Joshua didn't have no fear. And when whatever God told Joshua to do, Joshua had to do it. That's why they were able, the Israelites, that's why they was able to defeat the Canaanites. See, this is also showing us when you obey God, oh, how God is pleased and how God will take care of you. Now, we all know the story now. We look at our own life. I don't know what you are doing and what you are a leader in, but you should be leading according to the way that God say lead. Even if you just, if it's just being a great husband, if you are leading the way that God tell you to lead, because when God puts you in position, it ain't nothing easy about it, is it? Oh yes, it get tough. And it got very tough for Joshua. Joshua went through a lot, but Joshua was a soldier also. And if God, and if God say kill, that's what God meant. If we could have that zeal like that, choosing a great leader, especially when you look inside the churches. Now, if you just put anybody in position, then expect your church to run any kind of way. But if God chooses a leader, if y'all are doing it God's way, you can't go wrong. Yeah, you're going to have trials and tribulations. That's promised to you. But when you look at this story closely on Joshua being put in position, now you can imagine the Israelites saying, now, let's look at it like this. They've been so used to following Moses. Now, all of a sudden, Moses died, and we know Moses died on the mountaintop at the age of 120, I believe. He didn't even get to make it in the promised land because of his disobedience. Now, here is Joshua, and we know about Joshua and Caleb, but I just want to talk about Joshua right now, and they probably were saying, who is this man? We so used to following Moses, I don't know if he's even capable of doing the job. Now we got to follow somebody else when we've been used to following Moses and Moses is dead. Can we trust Joshua? This is what the Israelites was going through. And you can imagine Joshua having this big old task on his hand. He had to take over. They had to cross that Jordan River. They had to, they had to get on with their journey. And I want to refer to us right now. How, how many of us can actually move on in our journey? Just like when a church go through a transition of getting another pastor. It, this, the, the congregation done got so used to looking at this one pastor. Now he's gone. Now they got to focus on somebody else. And I can say this. We all going to make some kind of mistakes. Because we are not perfect. We going to make mistakes. But can we learn and live from our mistakes? When God chooses a great leader. That's a beautiful thing. So we need to be more like uh, Joshua. I was about to say Joseph, but I mean Joshua. We, we need to be more like Joshua. Joshua stood bold for the Lord. When God gives you a task to do, don't ask no questions. Be like Nike and just do it. Just do it and don't be afraid. Why? Because God did not give us the spirit of fear. What the Lord has given us is power love and a sound mind we need to start using this power instead of letting the enemy defeat us see when you look at this story close Joshua and them was very victorious why because they was following God look at the armies look what happened 
They was following God. And when you follow God, he's going to keep you going in the right direction. Though some things might not make sense. So to all the leaders right now in leadership position, make sure you lead the way God say lead. Be like Joshua. Just follow the Lord. It's so easy to mess things up when you put yourself in the way. But when you remove self and follow God, you're going to have people up against you. A lot of people ain't going to like your decisions. See, this is the thing, too. When you change, a lot of people ain't going to understand it. When you have to make decisions as a leader, a lot of people are not going to understand it. But if you're doing it the way God say, don't worry about it. So big shout out to everybody. Let's lead just like Joshua. Joshua, if it, if it came down to killing, that's what Joshua did. And I'm telling us, now I'm not telling you to go out and kill nobody. I'm telling us we need to have that same zeal. We need to have, have that same zeal just like Joshua. And once again, people, it ain't about your religion. It's about your relationship with God. Only God, only, only way you can get close with God like that is through your relationship. God was with Joshua. God was with Moses. He told Joshua, I'm going to be with you always. I would never leave you, never forsake you. We should remember that, people. A lot of people walk around quoting that, but do they believe it? He said, I will be with you always, even until the end of time. I'm going to be with you just like I was with Moses. I'm going to guide you through this thing. We can look at, uh, same with Joseph. Joseph was thrown into slavery. Joseph was hated on by his brothers, but wasn't God right there with him? Same with David. God was right there with David. Why? Because God loves us so much. No, David was not perfect. But I'm just trying to get you to see the personal one-on-one -on -one relationship that you have to have with God because you will miss it being religious. I'm sorry. Look how close David got to. David was with God, and he danced out his clothes. He praised God, and David was on the run. David was going through some terrible things. Even his own son was trying to get at him. So when you look at the relationship with God, look how close Moses got. They had to put a veil over Moses' face because he had a one-on-one -on -one personal intimacy with God. When God gets you one-on-one, -on -one, that's what you want. Though you might not like it, certain things going to happen to you, but when God gets you one-on-one, -on -one, you need to become that great leader. Follow God and don't follow man. God bless you.